All right, so I'm here lying in bed. It's actually the middle of the day, but uh, I like to read in bed in the evening, so I thought it'd be a good location uh, to review my latest read. Eat and Run by Scott Jurek. So, like many others, I first heard about Scott Jurek uh, in uh, Born to Run, the classic book by Christopher McDougall. I'm actually reading Christopher McDougall's second or other book now, Natural Born Heroes. Just started it a few days ago after I finished Eat and Run. Um, cover looks epic. I mean, I really like that cover. And the title, I mean, Eat and Run. That's like my two favorite things in life. <laughs> so I thought it would be a good book for sure. My Unlikely Journey to Ultra Marathon Greatness. So first of all, good book, really good book. Great, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it's basically his story. He takes you through his childhood, how he, you know, he was not your typical sort of cool kid. Uh, he was somewhat nerdy, I guess, and uh, and but he had a he had a knack for endurance sports. You know, he was good, uh, a good skier, a good runner, and he just basically takes you through his childhood, his parents, how he grew up what he learned from his parents, how the struggles he had, um, and then how he sort of found running and uh, realized he was good at it. And then he starts talking about different races and then for the second, it's really that's the first half of the book and then the second half of the book, he, each chapter is pretty much a new race where he just talks about you know his preparation for the race and why he did that race and and really talk and a, a lot a lot about like how it actually went during the race so he he's really good at sort of narrating uh, and portraying the feelings and emotions and challenges that come with doing like western states or something like that and as most of you probably know he's won the western states many times i, I don't remember how many times but he's won it a lot He's like a legend uh, of the Western State race and other, he's a, he's a legendary ultra marathoner in his own right. There's uh, pictures inside, two sections of cool pictures. There he is, look at that cool guy running through the forest with a t-shirt on his head or something. <laughs> um, and uh, obviously he's all, he, he also talks about his journey to towards a plant-based uh, vegan diet. Um, he didn't always eat like that, but he found its virtues and he likes to cook and yeah, he talks about how, how that came about as well. He has recipes in here too. At the end of each chapter there's a, there's a vegan recipe, so that's cool. And he also shares a little bit of advice, uh, like for example at the end of this uh, chapter there's some advice on stretching and then it's follow up with an apple cinnamon granola recipe. I think anyone interested in running, ultra running particularly, need to read this book because Scott Jurek, as I said, I mean he's he's a real legend in the sport and <laughs> I mean yeah you just gotta read his book basically. Some of the reviews on the back, uh, Independent on Sunday says he is undoubtedly the greatest ultra runner of his generation. The strength of the book lies in his descriptions of races and runners and it's worth joining Jurek on his remarkable journey for these alone. Scott Jurek has revolutionized the sports world. This book will inspire and equip you. Neil Bernard, author of the 21 day weight loss kickstart. Neil Bernard, one of the promoters of a plant-based diet. So I think now uh, Scott Jurek is out with a new book. North? Is that what it's called? I don't remember. It's, I think it's about his uh, Appalachian Trail um, project. And you know he's a he's a philosopher as well, Scott Jurek, kind of like me. I, I like to contemplate life and things, and he contemplates running and how it relates to life and 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 the, the big questions and and really that's that's enjoyable. It's a fairly short book. Oh, it's not short, but it's yeah, two hundred and thirty pages or so. Let's read a little bit from uh, Western States. When I got to the starting line at Squaw Valley, I heard comments from people. Flatlander, people muttered. Second in the angel's crest and he thinks he belongs here. I think I heard some people snicker. The Minnesota Voya, what? Fifteen years evaporated. Suddenly I was a teenager again. Hey Pee-wee. Sometimes you just do things. 
I don't want you around here anymore. When the gun sounded, I unleashed a guttural, almost barbaric rebel yell. One that seemed to be <laughs> one that seemed to begin at my ankles. People thought I screamed because I loved running so much, and that was true. But that yell embodied the exhilaration I felt now that I was finally competing in the most storied race against the best ultra runners in the United States. I had trained as hard as I could imagine. Now I would learn if it had been enough. Could I go the distance against the best in the sport, and would the mountain men send me squealing back to the flatlands? I was in first place the first mile, and I was in first place after 10 miles. I was in first place at 20 miles, and 30 miles, and 40 miles. I ran through snow fields and alpine forests, down wide canyons, over dusty sun-baked ridges, through the heavy sweet scent of manzanita, through air so hot it singed my nose hair, so dry that red dust puffed from the ground with each step, with each rare breeze, etc. Cool book. Definitely cool book. Do I recommend it? Hell yes, I do recommend it. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description that's going to be an affiliate link like to Amazon and if you want to buy the book you can buy it through that link. We'll get a small commission for sending you there but the price remains the same for you. Um, good way to support the Lone Trail project. Yeah, get the book. It's it's awesome. It, it needs to be read by everyone who's into ultra running. So, thanks for watching. Check out my uh, playlist on other book reviews I've done. Let me know in the comments what books you are reading right now, what book you are reading rather. Hope your day is going well. My neck is now stiff from lying in this awkward position for like uh, a few minutes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.